crossing over as we are joined by Australia's favourite medium, Susie Price. Susie, welcome to the show. In a moment, Susie will do an audience reading, which we are all very excited about. But first, Susie, talk to us about... Uh, tell us the story of how you came to talk to the other side. You were just seven years old. I was just seven and I, I got hit by a car and I had a near-death experience. Mm. And I was unconscious for a short time. Wow. And I remember seeing a spirit or an angel and she had like beautiful white light around her and, and big blue eyes. And I felt the most amazing sense of love, like unconditional love that I've never felt before. And I said to her, I want to stay with you. But she said, you have to come back. And, and when I came back, the months that um, passed after that, I used to have spirit people that would visit me in my bedroom. Mm. So it was a very confusing time for well, me. Well, it must have been as a little girl to, have to go through that experience and then to, as you say, have people, you know, visit you. How did you explain it to your parents and to the people around you? Well, it, it was confusing for my mum and family and my mum didn't know what was going mm. on. And so she took me to counsellors and psychologists and they just said I had an overactive imagination and I'd grow out of it, but I never did. <laughs> so did you tell your mum? That, that you were still having those sorts of I, sensations? I did, yeah, and she she found it hard to understand for a, a long time, mm -hmm. but now she, she's come to terms with it and she really loves it and mm. she's really proud of me, which is really lovely. Mm. That's great. <laughs> and Susie, often when we do these, I must admit I'm a bit of a sceptic and we get a lot of people saying uh, that we shouldn't be doing these uh, segments. Uh, what do you say to people who say, look, you know, what you do, it's all just make-believe, it's all just hogwash? Well, I just say to people there's, like, more than meets the eye because um, we only have about 1% of our peripheral vision and the 99%, we really, we really don't know what's beyond that. No. And I just say have an open mind and, um, and just, yeah, just trust there's something more out there. But what do you actually see? Um, I, my strongest uh, ability now would be like, um, I communicate to the spirits like mind to mind, like a telepathic level. And it's like um, sending a thought to them and then they'll send one back to me. And so it's like communicating without words. Mm. And, and, it's, um, and, and I'm also... But we need your words today. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> We do. Susie, yeah. we would love to see you in action this morning, so let's get into it. You are going to do a reading for our Studio 10 audience. Oh, right away. Yeah. So we'll... oh. Hi everyone, it's really great here to be here this morning. And um, as you've probably heard, I'm a spirit medium. I do things just a little bit differently. Well, I'll um, bring someone up to the chair here and I'll hold your hand and then uh, start to bring messages through from loved ones. I have been getting a few things. Do you have a son? I do. Okay. Is he still studying at the moment or...? He is. I, if I ask you to come down? Yeah. yeah. Are you okay with that? Yeah, Great. Fine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> If I just hello, hold, hello. <laughs> You've lost your mum. Yes. Oh, I'm so sorry. Thank you. Okay. She just wants to thank you for being by her side. I saw you were by her side a real lot. Was your mum in the hospital or? Yes. Oh, and she she keeps saying she loves you very much. She's talking about a tree or a rose or oh. in her honour. It's you, amazing. Oh, and she loves her and. And she says you often, like, go out to the garden and you talk to her out there. I do. Mum says she, she comes and visits you at your house. She does. Yeah. Is there any little babies around? I hope not. Oh, OK. <laughs> not with you? Um, no, but, but I have um, three little dear friends that yeah. are expecting and have little ones. Oh, well, your mum knows about that because she loves those friends and she watches you have cups of teas or, or chats with them. She does. Yeah. She does. And do you actually have any teacups or sauces of your mum? Like Very prized. In, yes. Like in a cabinet? And yes. Would it be like Royal Dalton or...? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> and it's got, like, gold trimming. Oh, I'm blown away. Oh. 
and I had it out only the other day. Oh my goodness! Well, Mum yeah. knew. She's and um, <gasps> Mum said she's tickled pink. Do you have a daughter as well? I do. I do. And you still got your daughter's te teddy from a little baby? I do. Because Mum knows about that. I do. And do you I have do. a Judy or Julie or? My name's Judy. Judy. Oh my God! Mum says, "Love you, Jude." Said you're the best thing since sliced bread. <laughs> I think she was too. <laughs> Your Thank mum's you. lovely. Your she mum said this is pretty good. She likes all this. <laughs> She's loving it. I talk to her often. Oh. Is your father still with us? Because your dad's like tipping his hat. He's a gentleman. So he's there with, with your mum. I just keep seeing the car in trailer or a truck. I don't know if anything <laughs> to do with anyone has anything to do with driving one of those or <laughs> or I've yeah, I have a trailer for my son's bike. Motorbikes? And, um, he has a motorbike and I have a motorbike. And Mum says she watches you on the motorbike. And she said you're in your glory. It's like, like you really love it. This, and this is a really great um, connection with you and your son. This is really like drawing us closer. He's, he's, there's something real gentle about him. He's a beautiful young man. He yeah. Is, is he, um, would he be 17 or? He's just turned 18. 18? Cos Mum's saying happy birthday. Thank you. And I just feel like the sky's the limit for your son and your daughter's more bouncy and outgoing. And, mm -hmm. <laughs> and Mum watches her with her headphones in her ears <laughs> in the bedroom or something. <laughs> yeah, and she sings. <laughs> and who's that actually hurt their elbow or, or shoulder area? Me. It's just... I have a shoulder in the kitchen. I feel like, um... Yeah, it's... It's something with the ligaments or the joints. Um, Mum's just said a bit more physio on that will help. Isn't and she gorgeous? And uh, are you talking about going up north or overseas at all? <laughs> I'm, I'm just blown away. Uh -huh. um, I've never really been overseas, but um, I'm going over a family wedding later oh, in the year. Is that a, a tropical island or? No, the no. other in UK. UK. Oh, okay. <laughs> so. Um, are you planning on going to Italy or Greece while yes. you're there? Oh, that's that's where I'm saying it's warm. Yes, because that's yes. yeah, because I'm yes. seeing it's like you're having a cocktail or something like that there. And and mum, mum said she's looking forward to go. She's going to come to Italy She'll be with there. you and Greece. She'll be there. She said it'd be lovely. She'll be there. Does mum have a, a Bible or was she oh, Catholic yes. or? No, just a loving Christian Little, woman. Yeah. That that believed in God and what the Bible said. She did. She's um, and she you, she said you have that Bible. I do. It's a family Bible. It's a fam and it's a big one. Yep. And is that where people put their names and like yes. birth dates in it? Yes. Because Mum, she said that's one of her prized possessions. It is. Is it a light colour by any chance? A light no, dark. It's very, black? It's dark, but it's very weathered through yeah, the years. Yeah. Yeah. It's thick. Yes. And it's very thick. And there's a lot of like really beautiful energy in that, and I feel when you look at that, you feel really happy. I do. I do. And something your daughter's doing, you're not sure about whether you wanted to do it or not. There's a decision she's trying to make right now, and I don't know if it's, whether it's her, with her career or life. This is amazing. Yeah. She's at, she's at a crossroads in her yeah. life. Yeah. And his mum said, "Tell her not to worry. It's all going to work out for the highest good." And she's such a clever girl. And just to believe in herself, Mum said, "Go with a heart, because your heart's never wrong." How true. Yeah, that's lovely. So I might leave it there, Judy. Thank you that's so right. much, my husband. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. That was really amazing. You're wonderful. Thank you so much. <laughs> Has anyone actually lost a child at all? My two daughters, seven months old. Oh, I'm so sorry. Is your mum with us? No. Or your father? No. Are you OK about coming up? You're all right. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Hello. I'll just hold your hand too. The first things your little girls are saying when you see the butterflies, that's a sign from them. Mm. Are they are twins at all? Yes. Identical? Yes. They just said they're always with you and they love you very much. Your mum's saying that she's looking after them. Do you have a son? Yes. 
because your uh, your twins are saying they've watched him grow up into a lovely man. But you have your moments with him, I feel. You've had some upset. <laughs> you said it's like sometimes it's been one thing after another. You don't know whether you're Arthur or Martha with him. <laughs> Is that your daughter here? That's or? my husband there. Well, he doesn't believe. Oh, with the beard? Yes. Oh. He Hello, does. hubby. <laughs> but you have just hit the nail right on the head. Oh. <laughs> so I feel it's been a bit of a journey. Oh. And it's and they're just saying it it will get easier. You, yeah, um, he's not at, at you for money, is he? I'm sorry. Is that OK that that comes out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And your mum's by your side. I and, know she is. And did um, your mum or dad ever have a walker or a walking stick? Oh, my dad, he did yeah. in the last years. Oh, is he thank you, he's thanking you for looking after him and caring for him? Mm, in the last few years. And, and he said, he, sorry, he was so hard as well. <gasps> he said he was, a hard, he was a hard bugger and he was hard on your mother and... And um, he's very sorry for everything he's done to you and your family. And he loves you and he asks for your forgiveness, but that's totally up to you whether you want to, because I feel you've been through such a lot in your life. And, um, and I just want to let you know that, that when um, our loved ones have done difficult things, we go through like um, a life review so everything he's done to your others, he's had to, your dad's had to experience it on a karmic level. So his soul can go through growth and, and understanding and compassion. And he said he loves you if, you if he's never said that to you before. He says, I love you. Was your father a drinker? <laughs> yes. Was he, he was a silly drinker too. And he keeps, do you have a, um, do you have a grandchild? Do you sit with your granddaughter and read books with her? Yes. Oh, because <laughs> your mum and dad and your twins watch. <laughs> and is, is one learning the alphabet? Or her, her, she, um, her, her um, times table or something like yes, that? Yes, yes. Yeah. Because <laughs> your mum's just tickled pink. She said they're beautiful girls. And, and one's just a real little busy bee or loves to talk a lot. She's a little chatterbox. She wants to know about everything. <laughs> And I feel she's a little old soul. Is one seven or eleven at all? No. Nine. Nine? Yeah, it's her. She's a chatterbox. <laughs> it's like nanny this or grandma this. Do you have a David or Daniel? No. Oh, someone starts with D. Dale. Dale. Me. Is that you, Dale? Oh, hello, Dale. <laughs> so <sweet. laughs> Are you talking about going on a, a little holiday too? Yes. I'm seeing you're taking lots of photos. Wherever <laughs> you're going, there's lots of photos. Yes. And Mum and Dad said this is like a breath of fresh air for you. It's like something you really need to do. And they said your son will be OK. <laughs> 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 They'll all keep an eye on him for you. <laughs> Isn't He's not the one who's got tattoos, is he? Yes. Oh, and you're not fucked from those, are you? <laughs> How did you know? Your, your Mum and Dad. Yeah, they know. Is it some of these arms or...? Both boys have a Boys? Oh, OK. And you love your gardens too. Oh, I do. She said yeah. you've got a lot of pot plants and... Yes. A lot of pot plants and, and you love going to the nursery or you like looking at... I used to, yes. Oh, but... Mum remembers that. Not so much these days, though. No. So she's with you? She often comes in through the hallway <laughs> and slams the door if she's a yeah. bit annoyed with things. Yeah, and have you noticed a flickering light yes. in your house? She said, that's definitely her. And yeah. are you getting your house repainted or renovated? We're doing it up to see. Renovated, because Mum said it's time. Yeah. And it's, um, she said, it's time to get it spick and span. <laughs> spick and span, love. Thank you so much. It's so lovely to do your reading. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Dale, you're one of our studio regulars. What was that like? It hit me right here. Everything was just so spot on. I know my mother is with me all the time. I feel her in my house. If a door slams, it's my mum that I've done something wrong, you know. I see her spirit. I, I know Alan doesn't believe. 
but the things she said about my children, to touch on that when I gave no indication of it, all I can say is you're wonderful. You're Thank wonderful. You, Thank you, Um, actually lost a loved one not long ago. Um, my mother. Your mum? You were quite close to your mum. Mm. Would you like to come up? Are you okay about yeah. that? <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay if I hold your hand? Yeah. I feel you're very close to your mum. Mm. And you did a lot for her. Did mum have a fall at one time? <clears throat> About a year ago, yeah. Um, I'm so sorry. There yeah, she did. Yeah, and she was on her own, and yeah, and it was a scary time, but she managed to get to the phone. But it was it was a shock. Yeah. I feel. Yeah. And I feel she may have been there a little while, because I see that might have been a bit of pain she was in, and I, I do see like an ambulance came. Yeah, she um, yeah. Yeah, and I feel like after that she wasn't too good. It's like I first, it was very close to when she passed or that, that time. And if she wants to let you know it was her time to go. She, she just didn't want to hang on anymore. And she's worried about her gardens, her flowers. <laughs> You've been watering them. <laughs> she had a big garden. <laughs> She said, just get someone to come in and do the hedges. <laughs> Have you been doing I've that? I've been doing that. Oh, good. <laughs> come on, Mum. <laughs> well, she said, no, you know what Mum's are like? We always worry. We want things just right. But she's thanks. She's, she's you're doing a beautiful job. Did someone have birds or aviaries or...? Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> You know that. Well, your mum just told me. <laughs> she says, Mum, mum let's know all, love. <laughs> that, was, that was my stepdad, had pigeons. Oh, it's stepdad. He, he's gone too. Mm. Do you ever wear a hat? We called it an handicap hat. Cause it's a, yeah, it's like you'd had it for donkeys, you use that yeah. hat. <laughs> it's, been, it's been around. And who had like the bad chest issue, like, um, before they passed, or that was mum. Mum, does it feel like her lungs or her chest? Uh, was she a smoker? Or? No, no. But it, was, it was her lungs. It was like, yeah, it was like, yeah, it's like lung uh, cancer or lung issues. Yeah. But um. It wasn't cancer, but it was in the lungs. Yeah, because she said she just couldn't breathe, and 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 that was it was a lot of tightness in the chest. Would you have a Mary or Margaret or? Mum was Marjorie. Marjorie? Marge? Oh, she was trying to give me a name. God bless her. All right, so I'll leave it at that. So love from Mum, Marjorie. Thanks. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. David, we remember when you lost your mum. Did you take some comfort out of Susie's reading? Yeah, I did. So much. It was just so spot on. I mean, the pigeons was one thing <laughs> growing up with and... It wasn't that long ago, as you know, Sarah, that, that I lost my mum. Um, and so, yeah, it was very special. Are you sure you're looking after the garden all right? <laughs> <laughs> I reckon your mother was sending oh, a big message. Mikey, you're welcome to come around any time and have a look. <laughs> oh, you sound like my children. <laughs> well, Susie, you've, uh, you've certainly stunned a few of our audience members. Oh, thank you, Sarah. Well, I, I, I love to um, connect with people's loved ones and... And just to let people know that, you know, our, our consciousness does survive this life. It's, and it, this is not the end, there is something more. Mm. And I, I do believe we, we take our memories um, to the other side with us. And we take our, our personalities, which is so beautiful. Even though we don't have the physical body, we just have our spirit, mm. it just continues to well, go I, on to say, and on. I, was, I was very impressed because I have a hard enough time getting my relatives to visit me and they're still alive. <laughs> Thank, you. <So. laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Susie. Thank well, you. Susie, thank you so much. You have been fantastic thank this you morning. So much, and if you would Sarah. like to see Susie, she's heading off on tour around Australia. Head to ghostwhisperersusie.com.au for more information and tickets as well. Her book, Heaven on Earth, is also available now at all good bookstores. Susie, thank you again. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you.